these two bits over here. One, two, and just curl these ears. That's a clue as to what's coming up on this piece of paper. This piece of paper will now look like a rabbit. Look, a rabbit flapping its ears. There we are. <laughs> now, from tearing paper to building houses with the Tweenies. I wonder if they'll build their houses. Oh. Do you know what these are? At the top, they look like factory chimneys, don't they? But look what happens to them at the bottom. They get all big and fat. Oh, I bet you've never seen a chimney like that before. <laughs> well, they're called Bottle ovens. Very funny looking, aren't they? Can you guess what they're for? No, they don't bake bottles in them, no. <laughs> they're used to bake pottery. This is the Gladstone Working Pottery Museum. Do you know what a pottery is? Well, a pottery is a place where they make pots. Well, not just pots, but cups and saucers and plates and not anything and everything made from clay. You know, my granddad was a potter, and this is where he used to work. <laughs> oh, come inside. I'll show you around. Well, now we're on the inside of the bottle oven. In here is where they used to bake the pottery. And if you look inside, you can see how they used to pile it all up. They would light a big fire under here. And all the smoke would go out of the chimney. Right up there. Oh, it used to get very, very hot in here when the pottery was being fired. And the firemen, oh, that's the men in charge of the fire, had to stay in here and keep the fire going. Oh, I don't think I'd like that job very much, would you? Now, after it's been fired, this is what the pottery looks like when it comes out of the oven. And this is what it's all made from. Clay. But to turn this clay into something like these, or this lovely pot, quite a lot has to happen first. Now then, the reason I'm here today is to get a rather special present for someone rather special. <laughs> and I'm hoping to throw a pot myself. <laughs> Sorry, Bella, uh, but guess what? What? Well, Max has gone to the Pottery Museum. Oh. Yes, we know that. Yeah, uh, but guess what he's going to do with the pot? What? <gasps> Throw it. <laughs> the, oh, no, uh, no, not the board, the pot. Max is going to throw the pot. Oh, he mustn't throw a pot. He might break it. Yeah, that's right. My mum dropped a flower pot once and it smashed. Oh, oh let's hope someone tells Max. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. yeah, needs to. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear. I think the Tweenies might have got the wrong idea. You know, when I said I was hoping to throw a pot, I didn't mean I was going to throw a pot. No, I meant I was going to throw a pot. Like that. Yes, it's called throwing a pot because you throw the clay onto the wheel. Then you start the wheel turning, press down on the clay with your fingers, and in no time at all, you'll have a lovely pot. <laughs> now then, here we go. There's nothing to this, really. So did I. Any bit this. Oh, no, hang on, that was... No! Oh, 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 no, that's not going right! Oh, no, I'll have to stop me wheel. Oh, dear. Look much like a pot, does it? <laughs> oh well, never mind. I might not be able to throw a pot, but I'm sure there's someone here who can. Now that's what I call a nice pot. 
but sadly I think it'll be a while before I can make one like that. <laughs> I wonder if there's anything else I could make. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what's that going on over there? <laughs> oh, now that is lovely. A beautiful rose made out of clay. Oh, I bet it takes you years and years to learn how to do that. Well, you can do one with a bit of help. So you make another petal now. So have you knocked him back at the top for me? That's lovely. Go go around the edge for me. That's lovely. Yeah, that one now. Now, don't touch that mat end. Give me your fingers and roll that one. That's it. Keep rolling it. Keep rolling it. That's it. Keep rolling it. That's right. Now, put it on there next to it. That's right. That's lovely. But Josh, that's lovely, isn't it? Eh? Yeah. You're clever. Shall we put them on there in a minute? Oh, well, I never. That's absolutely lovely. Oh, I'll have to try to remember to show that to the tweenies. Yeah. Oh, that reminds me. I mustn't forget that special present for someone rather special. <laughs> oh, I'll give you a clue. It's for someone with big eyes. Daddy, 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 dee! Oh. Who's a lucky tweeny? Me! Oh. <laughs> oh, you sound very happy, Bella. Um, yes, Max is getting me a special present. Oh. Well, how do you know? Oh. Because he said he was getting a special present for someone rather special. Oh. Well, we're all rather special. <laughs> yeah. What makes you think it's you? Because he said it was for someone with big eyes. Oh. Oh, I've got big eyes. Oh. Well, so have I. Uh, uh, but they're not as big as mine. Oh. Yes, yes, they, they are. are. Uh, no, they're not. Uh, Milo, mm. who's got the biggest eyes? Mm. Mm. Yeah, come on. Yeah, look. Mm, look at yeah. Milo. Me! <laughs> oh. <laughs> now, this is where my granddad used to work. It's called the Saga Making Shop. And my granddad was a Saga Maker. <laughs> it's a funny name, isn't it? <laughs> but he didn't start off as a saga maker. Oh, no. His first job was even funnier. <laughs> he was... Wait for it. <laughs> a saga maker's bottom knocker. <laughs> oh, dear. You see, the saga <laughs> was what they put the pottery in before it went into the oven. <laughs> and they made the saga right here. It took three people to make a saga. First, you had the saga maker's bottom knocker. <laughs> oh, sorry, I, I can't say that without laughing. <laughs> now then, this is Kevin. <laughs> Hello, Kevin. <laughs> and he's going to show how it's done. He used to make the bottom of the saga by hitting the clay with a big mallet like this. <laughs> then, another man called a frame filler would make the body piece. Yeah. <laughs> then, my granddad, or, or someone like him, would do the hardest bit, joining the two bits together. There you have it. The perfect saga. Ah, now, if I'd been around in those days, I know what I'd have been. Mm -hmm. Lots of jobs that you might have. The choice is up to you. You're the one that must decide just what you're going to do. You might become a postman or you could work in a shop. You might start at the bottom and then get right to the top. Well, hey, you might become a sailor and work upon the sea. Of all the different jobs I know, there's only one for me. A saga maker's bottom knocker, that's the only job for me. If I could only do that job, how very happy I would be. I'd work all day, I'd not want pay, I'd do the job for free. 
Oh, 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 And some will drive a train, and some work up a chimney, and others down a drain. Oh, you might become an artist or a singer in a show. Oh, you might become a gardener then and watch the flowers grow. Oh, I wish you all the best of luck in what you choose to be. But I think you should know by now. There's just one job for me. A saga maker's bottom knocker. That's the only job for me. If I could only do that job, how very happy I would be. I'd work all day. I'd not want pay. I'd do the job for free. Oh, a saga maker's bottom knocker. That's the only job for me. A saga maker's bottom knocker. <laughs> Turned out nice again. <laughs> oh, it's amazing all the different things they can make here. All shapes and sizes. <laughs> There's everything from bowls of fruit to garden gnomes. Yeah, but pottery like this isn't made on a potter's wheel. Oh, it's made in something called a mould. Yeah, and here's a mould for making a gnome. And here's how it's done. The clay is put into the mold and sent off to the oven fires. When it comes out, they open the mold, and this is what you've got: <laughs> a lovely little gnome for the bottom of the garden. <laughs> It's nice, isn't it? Oh, but he's not finished yet, though. He's got to be painted all nice and bright, and then he'll be ready to put in your garden. Hello, Mr. Gnome. You can do with a bit of colour. <laughs> I have a little garden, a little garden gnome. He's always smiling brightly. He never tries to roam. He stays out in the sunshine. He stays out in the rain. No matter what the weather is, you won't hear him complain. And when I go off traveling, I'm so glad when I get home. Cause standing there to greet me is my little garden gnome. Oh, one of these gnomes would make a nice present for someone. <laughs> oh, that reminds me, I've still got to get that present for someone special. <laughs> Have you guessed who it is yet? I'll give you another clue. They've got long ears. You know, sometimes I really wish my ears weren't so long. Yeah, me too. What are you talking about? You don't have long ears. Oh, no, you've got little uh, squishy ears. <laughs> well, so have you. That's right. Oh. We've all got little ears. Yeah. Well, <laughs> who is it Max is getting that special present for then? Mm. He said they had long ears. Well, that means it can't be for any of us. No. No, no, no. Oh, uh, Diddles, uh, do you know anyone who's got big eyes mm. and long ears? Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, no. Now, most of the pots and things we've seen so far have looked the same colour as the clay they're made from. But the pots and plates we all have at home are all smooth and shiny. That's because they're covered in something called glaze. And that's what happens in here. Yes, the glaze is added and then the pottery goes into the oven again and when it comes out, it's all shiny, like this. This one's just plain, but lots of pottery has pretty patterns on it, and that has to be painted on by an artist. And I'm off to meet one now to get the special present. <laughs> oh, and I'll give you another clue. It's for someone with a wet nose and a waggly tail. <laughs> Hooray! Whoopee! It could be me! <laughs> Well, uh, sometimes I have a wet nose when I have a cold. Well, yeah, but you don't have a waggly tail. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Big eyes. Long ears. <laughs> waggly tail. <laughs> wet nose. Uh -oh. It's doodle. <laughs> That's right. The special present is for doodles. <laughs> It's a nice new bowl. 
Oh, this is Marie, and she is putting the finishing touches to it. Yes, the thing that makes it special. It's nearly ready, I think. Oh, look at that! <laughs> Doodles will love that. <laughs> Yeah, I will. <laughs> Great. <laughs> oh, and I haven't forgotten the tweenies either. Can you guess what I've got them? Look, it's a garden gnome. <laughs> oh, well, I've had a lovely day here at the Gladstone Pottery Museum. But now it's time to go home. Or should I say... <laughs> It's time to go gnome! Oh, <laughs> oh, I should have been... It's time now for an amazing and yet fantastic fact. Thank you, Andrew. It says here that you, this fact is all about your eyes. Now, did you know that you blink 10 million times a year? Wow, that's every 2 to 10 seconds. If you add it up...